Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to finally give you an update on my printmaking process. So I've been doing this for the last two weeks and some of it I've been filming, some of it I've just gone away and had a little session to myself. I find that I kind of get carried away with it. So obviously talking through the process makes it a bit longer. However, it does help me with the whole insight into what I think is going to work and what I think isn't going to work. So a lot has happened. I actually think I've got a final piece or a very strong position in what I'm doing with my tulips. So I have found when it comes to actually using the Perspex boards to print any leftover ink or include any ink, because this is where I left off from, I started to print back over some of the prints I didn't think it would work. Like you can see some of the red tulips underneath this texture and landscape, as well as some black outlines onto this piece of printmaking and I realised something wasn't really working. I felt like they were floating about so I incorporated a yellow line. That was the starting point when I realised something clicked in my head to realise what was about to happen. I really identify that tulips, I, it was very basic just to print them onto a piece of paper and that was it. I felt like there was something more needed like a background or process or some sort of combination of collage and mixed media. And doing this process, I realised I, I really enjoyed just being very messy and printing on top of paper and making some weird composition without the influence of tulips. So then I thought, actually, I can still carry on this process of using my tulips in a printing form, but this process of making some sort of combination or mixed media composition, it's something that I can still carry on after I completed these two. I continued to make some mess. So this one you can see I've got a combination of different versions. So you've got the red, I've got the black, and I've also got like a mixture of the red and the black. I started printing on top to kind of cover it over because again, it just was too floaty and I felt like there wasn't anything mind grabbing or settling about the piece. And that for me meant it needed an improvement. But I just love this. This doesn't have any texture or printing to do with tulips but I just love the combination of the white background with the wet saturated ink onto paper. One thing I did notice as well, I used two different types of paper. I used normal sketchbook paper and then water-based watercolour paper, which is more used for obviously watercolour. And because my printing ink is water-based, it made the whole perception and transfer of the ink onto the surface so much better. Like these two papers are just normal sketchbook ink, but if you go back to this one, you can see the colours are much more vibrant and actually the feel of it, this is quite flat, but the textures, it really picks up and lets it soak in, but also gives this lovely texture on top of the surface. I know with some art, you're not meant to touch it, but for me, I can touch my artwork. And it's just a lovely, subtle difference that, I soon realised I'm going to go forward with. So still going on with trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing and I started with going back to basics. I wanted to realise what I actually wanted out of the print and that became very transparent when I realised I wanted to ironise and highlight the fact that these tulips even though they turned out red, were actually meant to be black, and I wanted to highlight that in a piece. So I thought, you know what? If I just do a red background with black tulips, one, you can see the tulips a lot more easier onto a light surface, which is something that I was really struggling with with some of the past prints. I tried to print with red tulips, and the colour on certain colours weren't coming up as bold and bright as the black was on other pieces. So I went, you know what? <laughs> I'm defeated in this moment. I tried something new. Maybe I can try it with my, with my painting. And so I m went back to black tulips. I created a few backgrounds with the red printing ink, different variations, and I started adding and taking away different bits and pieces. So this is what I have got so far. Very quickly realised that I didn't want the whole piece to be just red. I wanted the natural white to peek through because it just gives this a bit of sense of naturalism and subtleness of it and also it's not so much on the nose about the red tulips 
then I went back and decided I wanted to incorporate yellow because yellow seems to work really, really well when it comes to printing on top of the other pieces of paper. It gives it a bit of a three dimensional feeling because even though it's a warm color, it still interacts with your eye in some sort of different way, but in a positive way. I only had about two more pieces of watercolor paper and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to make something out of this. So I went away, created these two pieces and then I had three more pieces left which surprisingly happened to be reused. <laughs> and this one actually has a drawing underneath it. And these two bits of lines were actually incorporated after I created the last piece because I realized it was very flat. And just adding that extra bit really enhanced it and made it something particularly interesting to look at. Um, the colors, they get a bit muddied up here. And I think that's just because I made it a bit too watery when it came to printmaking on top of the surface, but Every day is a learning day. <laughs> this is one of the two final pieces. Um, you can kind of see that I kind of just sat down and just printed <laughs> any idea that I thought. So I did two different processes. I did a cross and I did one up because I thought, you know what, I'll just change it, change it. Printed either back to front. So I either printed on the red and left the white or I did the vice versa. So both of these I have printed on the white. Note that this one obviously I've printed on the white left the top version to give it kind of a narrowing effect so your eye will immediately go in towards it like a landscape does and then I tried this version which did work to some degree but I think it's just a little bit basic but it's still quite interesting because it still does a similar effects because it does just bring your eye up but it just has nothing to settle onto so I don't know if it's worth actually going back to the drawing board and seeing if I can incorporate a bit more printmaking or do some more printing like excess printing onto this piece just to elevate it up to that professional vision. And lastly, ironically, I thought going sideways would be much better fit, but I did the last version going up and down, and that is where I kind of it clicked in my head and went, This is it, <laughs> this is the final piece that I've got, and this is it. <laughs> you have no idea how incredibly proud I am to make something like this because if you do look at all my different versions of artwork you can see this is completely different it is still within the printmaking aspect but it's, using colour is very hard for me because I find using colour very difficult to use because you've got to balance it out as well as the composition the mark making the forms and the shapes whereas this has just some done something right and I love it I you can see that these two are siblings, not twins. And I added in at the last minute this white strip because I actually added it onto a few of my other prints. And because that section is controlled, it gives you a resting point and allows you to evaluate all the marks that are going around up here and all the marks that are going down here. You can see where I've drawn it down and because it's not level as much as like this one, it brings you down and back, and back up. It makes your eye physically go up and down. I've made sure that it's not blocked so you can see some of the colour coming through and I've still kept some of the white throughout. This project I can say is complete, however I can still transfer into another project. Like I said I want to do a lot of multiple printing printing with the perspex onto pieces of paper just to make an interesting composition, interesting mark making. However I do think this piece is a final piece. I can still, like I said, carry on with it for now that side of the printmaking is finished until I pick it up further along it could be a few weeks it could be a few years I've still got bits and pieces that I'm picking up from like eight years ago that I realized oh have I tried that and I tried it again and went oh my god I need to carry on with this because it's just amazing <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of brief explanation of how I've progressed from A to B you can see all the videos of me going a bit more in depth. I'll leave them all in the description box because it is something worth to know. I finally got my tulips, which aren't just printed tulips. They're much more thought out and visually impacting. All these artworks that you can see will be available to buy if you would like. You'll find them in my eBay seller account, which is in my description box. Any type of print like this, these are the only ones I'm going to be making. I can make reprodu reproductions, limited edition because they are in the moment they're not screen prints they're literally handmade and made for me <laughs> so 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these to the side, photograph them all in a frame because I feel like a frame will be really nice justice. Don't know what colour frame yet, I feel like it's going to have to be a plain white just to elevate it just a little bit more. When it comes to actually your final pieces, I, I have to add this in. When I get to the point where I can't do anything physically to it anymore, that is when I, need, I know I need to stop. So I won't do anything more to these two pieces, but I might go away and get another piece of paper and then change, reprint and carry on the whole process. So yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> I hope you haven't bored you too much with me talking through the whole processes, but obviously there are videos out there if you wanna see more of the process because this is very much the end of it. In the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to answer them, either via message or I'll actually do a video upload if, that is, if that's the best thing for you. In my description box there are links to all my social medias and also my eBay sound account which is where you'll find all my artworks that I feature on my channel, plus a couple of extras, plus these. I will upload the ones that I think are generally ready for purchasing. Please stick around because you can see that this project is going to continue into the future with landscape forms, with mark making to do with paper and composition and collage and all the lovely little bits and pieces that follow with it. Um, please stay tuned as well. There's also in my Patreon, if you'd like to join me on my Patreon, I'd greatly appreciate it. I've now dropped it down to two tiers because I'm finding that more people prefer two of the tiers rather than three tiers because it's much more affordable. But until then, thank you guys again. Stay tuned, please subscribe, and I'll just see you guys later.